is the brand new Kia EV6 GT. The $100,000 electric weapon is just landed in the country and we're gonna tell you five things we love about it. Let's have a look guys, go, let's go. All right, number one, design. I think you'll agree, this thing is shit hot. The space gray and this matted brush finish, really, really nice treatment, loving it. Interior wise, everything about this finishing is really, really premium. I'm loving this little treatment here. The screen wraps all the way around, really nice and wholesome. And these seats are special GT seats. They're not carbon, but they're really, really firm bucket seats. And they're finished with a nice suede, also on the doors here as well. This here, this protruding sort of spaceship-like feature sort of comes out and it leaves a lot of room here for storage down the bottom. All right, there's no way I can talk about the Kia EV6 GT without talking about the GT button. This thing sends it full fast and furious mode. This is the NOS button you wish you had when you were a kid. It sends it zero to 103 and a half seconds, dual batteries. There is so much torque in this thing when you hit this button that you almost don't know what to do with it. it you can't wipe the smile off your face. That being said, number three, this car doesn't feel like an EV to drive. It's actually quite the relaxing and pleasurable driving experience coming from someone who drives an internal combustion car every single day. The torque curve is exponential. It's not exactly neck snapping, unless of course you go into batshit crazy sports mode. So these paddles, which in a normal internal combustion sports car would obviously be for the gears, actually dials down or dials up the braking depending on how you like it. And when you roll off the brake at a traffic light, for instance, the thing just rolls forward like a normal car would. So everything about this car is designed to make you forget you're actually driving an EV, which I really, really enjoy. All right, now my fourth favorite thing about the EV6 GT has to be the space. Now, I think you'll agree, this is not a massive car, but look at how much legroom I've got here behind me. And I'm a very tall guy and sits quite far back. And that is ample amount of space. Let me jump in here. Wow, so there's plenty going on here. Sunroof as well, nice addition. And overall, the main reason for this is because there's no drive shaft connecting the front and rear axles. It's just battery pack on the floor, motor at the front and the back, which means you get plenty of space, as you'll see down the front and also in the back. And finally, let's not forget the price. Now, 100 grand might seem like a fair whack for a Kia. That is true. And it could have been said maybe five years ago, but this thing well and truly punches above its weight in both tech and performance. Let's not forget, it's a third of the price of a Porsche Taycan Turbo, but it's only 0.3 off its zero to 100 time. Thanks to Kia for supporting the BH boys with this video. More on this car on the website, head to bosshunting.com.au to check it out.